and that in those days when it happens like that you have to take him to a soothsayer or uh, those who do the readings to tell the reason why the child has come to the earth either the child is coming to stay or the child will go if the child passed on before the eighth day um, naming ceremony is not accord there is no naming ceremony but if the child stays there's going to be the naming ceremony on the eighth day the reason why there is no naming ceremony if the child passed on is that one the child is a visitor he came to visit you and he's gone back to the where he or she came from and it's simple child is gone no funeral accord. no 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 funeral ceremony no 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 the mother still needs to put on white and thank god that um the child did not come to the world to give them problems but rather he came just to have a look at one or two things and it's gone back so that's all if the child stays on the eighth day there is something that we call naming ceremony and then in the naming ceremony early in the morning around 4 5 a.m the elders of the town and the elders in the family will be certain we've invited guests among them a man of good character or a woman of good character a woman or a man of substance someone who have wisdom someone people respect will be called upon to administer the oath and everything that goes on so we have it in three sections one if the parents are christians they will call on a minister or a pastor or a bishop to pray if they are not in their african traditionalist they will also call on the priest to pour libation all these people have been invited to be at the ceremony on that other time that is on the eighth day so he comes and does everything then from there they will call for the child and that is going to be the first time the child is coming out after the child came out of the mother's womb for the seventh day so the eighth day will be the first time the child is coming out of the room at that time the child is dressed and then when they bring the child they will ask the mother to undress the child and the child become naked they put the child on the floor at some quarters they will put um, plantain leaves or banana leaves big one on the floor and put the child on it because he came to the world naked it's 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 just a magic i've never seen a child that when you put him on there the child will be laughing any child that you put him on that thing early in the morning around that time you see the child crying and the meaning is that the child doesn't like where he is and want to be among where human beings are so the administrator pick the child give him back to the mother to dress him up put her clothing on him and brings him back again to the administrator hand him over to the administrator then we go to the second level the administrator will ask for two bowls or two calabash or two glasses and ask for another water the two calabash when they bring it is empty at that time they have already prepared two important things that will be used to administer the oath one either a liquor or honey or some something that is sweet others use uh, salt water salty water some use honey and water he will call for ordinary water in a bowl and soap 
in presence of the whole gathering, wash his or her hands carefully, wipe it, and then he will be blessing the child. He dip his fourth finger into the bowl, the water first, and wet the child's lips. At any point in time that he dip his hand into the water, he says something that is very, very important. When you see water, say it's water. Then he dip his hand again. When you see water, say it's water. The third one, when you see water, say it's water. If it's liquor or a soft drink or honey, you also say the same thing. When you see honey, say it's honey. When you see honey, say it's honey. When you see honey, say it's honey. This is very important in the life of the child and those at the gathering. They are initiating the child into trustworthy, into truthfulness. What they are telling the child is that, and all the people gathering is that, if the thing is white, say it's white. When you say, me, say I saw it, never tell a lie, but tell the truth always. This is very, very, very important in the life of every human being. So from the very onset, you have been initiated into trustworthy, truthfulness. So that people can trust you with their money, people can trust you with their life, people can trust you with their property. From the very onset. Then after that, we get to the third level. When a mother gives birth, the child is a gift not only to the parents, but to the society. To the parents, to the larger family, and to the society. That is why a lot of people are there to witness what is going on. The, if it's the, um, the parents' first meal, in the olden days, they will give him a gold ring. And that gold ring supposed to uh, uh, you don't sell it, you keep it. And then when you also give birth, you also give a gold ring to your son. There is a, 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 a female, they give him beads and a lot of dresses. They dress the child with beads and a lot of dresses. Uh, we are almost, if we are entered into KNUST, Kwame Nkoma University of Science and Technology. So I'll pause with the naming ceremony and when we come out of this place, I'll continue.